So, yan, nakikita niyo ngayon yung uh, yung gumagalaw yung ano, yung epekto niya. Mm. Yan na yung water left. <laughs> Uh, this is actually what we call fish hibernation. Uh, normally, the books will not tell you that fishes can hibernate, but with this process, which started early, very early this morning, we started to condition the fishes, put them in a in what in a proprietary buhi blend we call a buhi blend. We, after four to five hours, we put it in non-aquatic conditions. Non-aquatic conditions is actually without water. So we have a window of opportunity to ship fishes without water. It's not an anesthetic because if it's an anesthetic, you have to wait for the fishes for the whole time so that the, the, the medicine will wear off. In our case, whether you put it in water for one hour, two hours, or 24 hours, the fishes will just go back to life when it hits water. So now you see it. There you go. It's swimming. There is nothing fishy about the technology. Uh, I saw it with my own eyes, and I immediately realized that I was witnessing something significant to fisheries, and that it could be uh, a major uh, breakthrough uh, in terms of uh, the, the transport of live fish. We observed the internal and external organs of the fish and uh, we found it uh, normal and uh, we continuously uh, observed the performance of the grouper in the aquarium for about 10 days and uh, we did not observe any abnormalities. Uh, the only concern is that there should be more tests on the, the fish itself to, uh, to see to it that uh, there would be no uh, harmful residues that ma the, the fish might contain. But so far your test showed that there was negative, no. none. But it's not magic, <laughs> it's real. Fishes do hibernate, and uh, it's only now that uh, I was able to, to actually make or, or, or make the fishes do what they've been doing all those times in evolution.